it'll come off, but I mean, it's gummy. And the second you get it hot, it sprays like tire. It don't come out of clothes. Man, it don't it don't like to come off your skin. It was on, it was on, the body collar in the back. Mm. I want to strip this entire, yeah. cause it got a lot of shit on here that's going to hide. But this got, this got like a half inch of an undercoat on this That's something new, I never seen this before, you know, so that's something new. Well, the frame was hiding it. We couldn't yeah. see it with the frame on it. Yeah. See, you, you can see the rip, the, the wheel line. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It holds this piece in. We could drill those out, take that piece off, make you another piece. Yeah, you know what I'm exactly. saying? Yeah. And then the piece that he make it with is gonna be probably yeah. thicker than, yeah, exactly. than exactly. what this is yeah. here. Oh, you know what I'm saying? It's part of the That'd shorts now. Up, boy. It, it sticks to everything. Oh, it took me two man. days to get it out of my hair, and I only had a little bit of hair showing. <laughs> How am I supposed to look good on, on YouTube? <laughs> yeah, taking away all my glow. Polish it all down. Yeah. And so it was a ton of work done to the bottom side of this car. And then all of that black dust that's on the ground is because all of this undercoating stuff that they put on top of it to cover up all of the rust that it had. They mm -hmm. just tried to put that on there to kind of do the same thing they did on 73 over there. Yeah, like yeah. The th this could be good and bad sign when you see this on the car when you get it. It could be good that they did all the good work like what Mr. Rich did and then we undercoated it. Or it could be bad they got a lot of rust and they just tried to patch it in and cover it up mm. with a little camouflage. So mm. the bad thing about it for us, Mr. Rich had to go to Mars and get all of this stuff grinded off. He had on the space suit and ruined the outfit just to get most of it off. But you can see it's all the way down and now we can get to the next step. You can see how thick it is spots that are still there. I mean, this, this stuff's a quarter inch thick, and it's it's gum. It, it turns into, like, melted plastic. It's all here, and it just, it, it sticks, whatever it sticks to, it's there. It doesn't wash off, except for it transfers to your, your wife's clothes if they're in the same washing machine. <laughs> and then, it ain't worth it. <laughs> you don't want to hear any of that. No, no. No, yeah. You don't want to hear about work in the laundry. <laughs> no. You In order to remake this piece, this is a support bracket that goes right here on the frame. 
obviously if you see the one up here it's rotted out you know this one wasn't as bad but it did have some rot so obviously you know v10 v auto we're gonna make it better than what it was so you can look at the metal that we're using it's an eighth, eighth inch thick steel you know which is you know obviously thicker than what was on there yeah so but it's so thick when we had a big metal break we could bend an inch but now he'll just cut an inch because this is a four inch piece the interior piece of this is like three inches so he could take an inch off of this and then all of the bends you could just basically weld them at that angle and then once you tack it in take the whole piece out weld it solid and then now you got a replica of this of you know on that thickness you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying so yeah and then we got to double it up but it's just the first one is always the longest one figuring it out because you it's kind of coming out your brain it's kind of like freestyling the new piece. I mean it's all welded up nice. You gotta polish it up but right now it's just cleaning up the back. A lot thicker than factory. A lot stronger. We're gonna put a lot of cowl support back in this guy. What I've already done to the cowl has supported it but this is gonna add more so now the front's going to be almost as dynamite as the back. Back on Mr. Lofton's 1972 uh, convertible Impala. Um, I just wanted to highlight a couple things on it. As you can see, with the sheet metal work, um, we, you know, we pretty much got one half of the wells in. We got the excess metal cut off. If you remember from the old videos, once you wear these patch panels in, it's going to be overlap. Where well, you got to cut it back to the well seam and then weld the bottom side. It was a tunnel 
work that went into it. Mr. Rich already, went, we just filled the gas tank up, 150 uh, liter for that, for the uh, welder, and it's gone in a week. So he did a lot of welding, but what I want to highlight is, this is another element that was added to it. If you see this overspray, un undercoating or whatever it is they put on the car as a form of a cover to cover all of the rust work, you can see how gummy it becomes when you try to get it off. So we had to, you know, we probably put 30 hours just basically sanding it in the entire part of it. You can still see some of the gummy areas stuck up in here. All of this area still have to be stripped down, but we just flipped the car and then now we're gonna do the bottom side. We had it flipped one way, we did from this side up. But if you could just see some of the, you know, some of the, the, the gummy undercoating that was on it that had to come off, you know, we, we had to get a high speed sander with some, some real rough coarse disc just to get it all the way off, but Mr. Rich got it looking good. So uh, all of these support brackets, these are pieces that the convertible has that the hard top don't have. Being that you don't have a roof, these are additional support pieces that's put in the frame well, you can see the corrosion and rust that's through them, you know, so we're going to drill everything out and just make that piece new, um, just like we did on the other side to make it real stout. Then once we take all of this off, we can get and metal treat all of the metal behind it that has surface rust on it, and then everything will be, you know, clean again like it was from the factory. So a lot of work still got to be done to it. You know, I'm proud of what we're doing. It's a ton of work that we you know, ourselves and Mr. Lofton didn't know that was here, but now that we got to this stage, it's good. We're handling everything. So now we know all of it's pure metal, clean, no rust, everything solid. And then we'll go ahead and treat it after with etching primer and then probably start our phase of, uh, you know, undercoating, painting, whatever we're going to do. But we're not going to do an undercoating that in essence just cover up some of the bad. We're actually going to repair all of the bad and then go ahead and undercoat it and make it look real sleek. Like you can see here with this well, this well still has to be, it was grinded back, but it still has to be welded here. You know, once you weld it, you won't see the, the lips, the little lines and all of that. Once we weld, continue as well and uh, polish everything up, then you're kind of more, you know, polished. So once we give it the red, we can just do a little body work on it and prep it for paint because the bottom side of this car be painted as well. So. Stay tuned guys, we got a ton of work that was done to it. We got a little bit of work left to finish up. So we also got the frame back. You guys seen in the last video, we got the frame back. That's coming soon too. We'll go ahead and stiffen that up and um, get that one ready for paint too. So it's gonna be a nice canvas. Just kind of, you know, display what we could do here at VTS Viado. Y'all give us a shot, man, when you need us for your car needs. Let's go. Weld it here. Grind it down, you can still see the lip. Not, yeah. not welded here, not welded here. None of this stuff is cleaned up yet compared to, you know, everything trimmed back, cleaned down. And it's still a version of cleaning because you still can see groups. So by the time Red get it, he gonna clean all of this side and he might even do more, you know. Cause what we don't want to do is fill it with a ton of Bondo. Right. We really want to fill it with a lot of well and just saying everything down and you know continuous wear pretty much everything that's like a lot of times you know they tack wear things together and then use seam seller a continuous wear you wear everything up solid you know where you, you necessarily don't need the seam seller because you have completely joined those two pieces two pieces of metal together from your well so but now mr rich is going to go ahead and detach this piece remake it put it in clean it up you know so good work with come. On to the next one. That's it. See how solid. Oh, yeah, know. that's eight inch compared to what was on it before. Yeah, this is eight inch thick metal versus probably 16 gauge. So it's twice as thick of what was made, you know. No flex. We go above and beyond. Uh, look at rust. 
how thick it is and then look at how paper thin it is when I cut it off. That's all we'll decompose metal in there. But that there is supposed to be just a little under an eighth inch thick. It's fucking it's newspaper. <laughs> But that's what happens. Mm -hmm. Little hidden little beauties that we find in these things. Let's see. We dig into them.